Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? Something wasn't right. Oh, baby, baby, I shouldn't have let you go. Finally, I've been having terrible technical difficulties tonight. It's been very frustrating. So anyways, I want to talk to you about my year as a blonde. And it was back in the 1990s. I'd been straightening my hair for many years and I decided to try being a blonde. I mean, everybody says blondes have more fun and so I needed to find out for myself. Well, it turns out that not all blondes have more fun or not all people have more fun as a blonde, and that was the case with me. It seemed like there was a, a lot of unwanted attention, and there was people out there that, because of the color of my hair, acted like they could talk and treat me a different way. It was really an interesting experiment, but I hadn't done it for an experiment. I just did it because I wanted to try out the look. And the fella I was seeing at the time he liked it, but he also liked me as brunette, but enough about that shit. So anyways, huh. so when I was a blonde, there was two experiences that stuck out that I was going to tell you about tonight. And it was way back in the day when we still went to the Blockbuster video to rent the VHS tapes. I happen to have an old VHS tape here that should probably go in the trash. So anyways, uh, for the Gen X people and the millennials that aren't familiar with, Blockbuster. This actually happened at a Blockbuster video store where you go in and you rented your physical videos to take home. You rented these and had to return them. And streaming is so much better. So anyway, I'm standing in line, me and my blonde self, and these two strange men were behind me. I'm not dissing men. I love, I love you guys. But this is just my experiences with a couple of perverted and rude men. So anyway, so, standing in line, and these two guys behind me said, Hey, hey baby, want to make it, we could, or we could make a video with you. And I was like, what? Horrified, and just stood there in line, petrified, waiting for my chance to get up to the clerk so I could rent my videos. That's all I wanted to do was rent my videos and get the hell out of there. So I just stood there like a little soldier, straight. And didn't do anything. Just hope they'd go away. I was in public and there was a lot of people around so I was perfectly safe. I was just not used to that unwanted weird conversation. So anyway, the other time, now down here in Florida we still pump our own gasoline. So I remember I was pumping my own gasoline, minding my own business. I was um during the daytime, thank God, because I was careful, care, pretty careful. I don't go out at strange hours and pump gas. So I'm pumping gas and I'm outside my car, physically pumping the gasoline. And this another man is pumping gas and he decides, because I've never been treated like this before, but he must have seen my beautiful blonde hair. He comes over and he says, well, first, first he did a disgusting gesture with his tongue came over and he said something like mm, finger licking good and I was horrified again I think I just probably did the bug eye thing because I'm shocked like did what happened and this person just say that to me so as I do I think I just finished pumping my gas had already paid just jumped on my car, locked the door, and zoomed off. That's all I remember. But so for me, the unwanted attention was uh, just highly undesirable. Had I been used to this attention much of my most of my life, maybe it would have been a different outcome. Maybe I would have tried wearing the color of my hair like that longer. But you know, I wasn't used to it, and it was quite undesirable. And so, you could say that blondes have more fun, 
Um, maybe some blondes do, but you can be you can have fun no matter what your hair color is. It's really a silly saying. But now on to another subject. What main another reason why I'm wearing the hat is I want to talk a little bit about Britney Spears. And I happen to have this picture of her with her signature on it because my husband he had a restaurant for a brief time in the early 2000s and it was to do with his catering business and then it really turned out that he just didn't want to do it anymore and so but I had bought all these um, signed photos of celebrities that that's one thing I miss about like New York City I love going into those restaurants that have all the famous entertainers from all different you know, like could be circus entertainers, could be music, could be theater. Have them all over the walls. So they edit that out. So uh, anyway, I wanted to recreate it down here in one of our restaurant in our restaurant, but it was short lived. But anyway, about Brittany. If you haven't been watching the news, um, she's been in the news a lot lately. Um, she's been stuck in a conservatorship for 13 years, and she's very unhappy, and she's been treated horrendously. If you want to know more about it? There's a Netflix documentary it's very excellent made by the New York Times called Framing Britney apparently she has watched it and it was very painful for her to watch um, it's a shame that but it took I think it took this free Britney movement and this document documentaries like that to have to maybe get where she is today because to, she spoke out in court it's the first time she's ever done that so we're all hoping and praying for her to get out of this conservative conservatorship so watch for more of that in the news and one thing I want to say to the conservators out there is free Britney bitch <laughs>